it doesn't require thousands of hours of practice. All it requires is that you master the skills of eliminating variables in your swing. And those skills are like three things. Does that make it the easiest swing ever? Because these three things end up becoming one thing. Watch this. One of the things that seems impossible in golf is this idea that you can be consistent week to week without a whole lot of practice. I mean, you can strike that ball beautifully without doing much range time. I'm here to tell you that this can be a reality. See, I spent most of my life as a touring musician and a golf instructor. Golf instructor during the day, touring musician at night. I didn't have a whole lot of time to practice or play. I had to keep my swing in shape while still working all the time. And thankfully, I found a swing that wouldn't allow me to screw up as badly. It's like the screw up free swing. I call it the zero timing swing. And today we're gonna to look at how you can have a swing that doesn't rely on variables. We'll look at eliminating variables so that you can take that three week cruise and immediately go back to striping the ball just like you did before you left. This is especially helpful for those of you who are coming out of the off season too. So I haven't hit a ball, you know how I do this. I don't hit any balls to start my video sessions. So no practice swings, just a little bit of stretching. Let's see what happens here. I've got my setup. I'm just gonna take a swing. I mean, this happened last time too. Get over it and then the gunshot. Pure raid, ball striking. That's like Italian sauce right there. Oh, spicy meatball. Now, what in the world did I do to stripe that ball? Well, I built a swing that eliminated variables. We have to start our ball striking journey around contact first. After we build in contact, we're gonna get tons of power. And after we do that, we're gonna control where the ball goes. First thing, we have to get the lead arm straight. The lead arm must be straight because it controls a lot of your contact point. So if I just have my lead arm straight like this, and I make swings with it back and forth without shifting, the club comes into the ground, the same spot, every single time. So the first thing I do in my setup, it shouldn't be a surprise to you. Did you see this? Did you notice this? Right there, boom, it's straight. The second thing, good impact. We're talking about those hands being ahead of the ball at impact. That's what creates that lovely mash right there. Look at ball divot. Oh, that's so pretty. I could look at that all day long. This is almost like presetting impact, isn't it? Lead arm straight, hands ahead. Other thing, my right arm's tucked in. Look at that, impact, right arm's tucked in. So I'm eliminating the impact variables from the setup. Well, we can just check that off the list. I am no longer thinking about that. Thank you, I'll take the cruise ship now. And so just with these variables, I'm not gonna make a huge swing, but just taking out these variables. If I kept this, this whole relationship right here, I just swung. Look at it, it's a divot, it's ball divot. The sound is, it's everything you want. You can have it your way, Burger King. You know, it's just like that, you can have it that way. Another thing to help eliminate variables, we just don't worry about shifting around. You know, you'll see stuff out there. You gotta shift to have more power. Third swing of the day right here. But I'm here to tell you, you don't need to. I mean, I'm gonna take my weight shift out of this swing. I'm just gonna make a full send swing right now. I didn't even shift my weight and that's the longest ball I've ever hit with this club. Why? Is that important? Because shifting leads to contact issues. So if you start shifting around, and many of you know this on the channel, if you've been following the channel, you know any little bit of sway, any bit of head movement in any direction is gonna change that contact point on the ground. Now, why would we do that? Just cut out the shift, replace it with the rotation, and life is gonna be dandy. So that's what I did there. I just cut out the shift and everybody says, like you see it everywhere, you can't hit the ball far doing it. I just mashed that club. And did you see the swing speed on that? That was something else, wasn't it? Totally changes how you think about the golf swing. So we've eliminated the variables of impact. We've eliminated the variables of 
Well, power, we just added a whole bunch more power. Also, look at the, look at the turn I got, holy cow. Whew, I got a full turn, even without shifting. So I want you to start thinking about changing the way you view the golf swing. Variables are any form of shifting or breakdown. And most, 99% of lessons, I just gave a lesson to a guy today. And you should have seen, right off the ball. Boom, breaks down the arms. It goes to the top, breaks down the arms again, hands are up here, and then the club just starts steep down across. But wait a second, I'm gonna eliminate those variables. And our lesson focused on eliminating variables. So here's what we did. Hey, get that lead arm straight, get the arm set correctly, set the weight forward. Now just keep this, don't change it. And so all of a sudden he swings back, boom, lead arm straight, boom, top of backswing position, perfect. Boom, downswing shallow, and he's like, I have been spending years trying to figure out how to fix my over the top problem. And we just did it by changing setup? Yeah, eliminate variables. By the way, this is what's going on in the Segudo.golf online golf school. I've got a free mini course. Check out the link in the description below, go.segudo.golf. It'll show you the top three keys. You need to be a great ball striker. You need those keys to play great golf. You know, this is some of the pie, but we need to put the whole pie together. All the toppings on that pizza. Okay, so I've just eliminated variables. Tom, why don't you stop talking, hit another ball. Okay, I'll do that. So, eliminated variables, let's do it again. Look at that, ball divot. All this talking to you and ball divot strike. I'm not doing this to show off by any means. No, I desperately want the golfing world to experience that. That's the whole reason this channel exists. What I'm trying to get through to you is that it doesn't require a PhD in biomechanics. It doesn't require thousands of hours of practice. All it requires is that you master the skills of eliminating variables in your swing. And those skills are like three things. Does that make it the easiest swing ever? Because these three things end up becoming one thing. Watch this. I'm gonna make your swing even easier right now. And I can't believe I'm saying this. I really shouldn't be telling you this. But I, I really want you to hit the ball well. So. Look at this, variable eliminated, variable eliminated, impact set. Okay, that's one, you check it off the list. That swing thought, gone. All right, wait, okay, set. Check that off the list, gone. Now what's the other thing I talked about? Just keeping this. That's the only swing thought I have. And it works every day. I took three weeks off, came back, boom. I didn't hit a ball today, came back here, boom. That is where the pie is. And it was powerful, it was consistent, and it will happen tomorrow, it will happen the next day, it will happen when I go out 3 p.m. this afternoon and play around with my friends. It's gonna happen. So, eliminate variables in your swing, and you will experience that time and time again. Segudo.golf is the place where you can learn to eliminate variables. Thousands of golfers all over the world are learning how to eliminate variables and playing the best golf of their life with my training program. So I'll look forward to seeing you there to help you play the best golf of your life. I'll see you in a future episode.